New Alfa Romeo Giulia 2.0 Petrol 2017 Review We hit UK roads in the new Alfa Romeo Giulia to see if the entry-level petrol engine makes more sense than the diesel. Verdict 3 Star The entry-level power plant is usually one to avoid in most compact executive saloons, but that's not exactly the case with the Alfa Romeo Giulia. The 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol motor is a smooth performer and makes the car into a refined, comfortable cruiser. However, it lacks the torque of its 2.2-liter diesel stablemate and, as such, it isn't quite as much fun to drive. Factor in the higher fuel consumption, and you can see why a diesel Giulia is a more sensible buy. We've already concluded that the new Alfa Romeo Giulia may not have the all-round polish of a BMW 320D or the poise and balance of a Jaguar XE, but that there's enough going for the car to make potential buyers seriously consider it. Up until now, though, we've sampled only the diesel model on UK roads. The Giulia range kicks off not with the 2.2D but with this 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol. On paper, the stats look good enough, 197 bhp and 330 nm of torque mean it's more powerful than a 320i and a mercedes c200 and on par with an xe 2.0 the julia has more torque than any of these models too and with a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 6.6 .6 seconds it's 7 tenths quicker over the sprint than the two german cars that's only half the story mind you because the Alphys 2.0 liter engine isn't particularly clean. It emits 138g slash km of CO2, and while that's less than the XE, it's a little dirtier than the BMW and means the car sits one VED band higher than the Mercedes. What's more, those figures have been calculated in the official lab test, during our time with the Julia we never got close to its claimed 47.9 mpg, recording economy of around 40 mpg instead. And that's due to the Alpha's engine requiring a firm right foot to perform, despite those impressive on paper stats, the unit never feels urgent like the BMWs. At least it doesn't get too harsh or noisy when it's being worked hard. So it's a mixed picture for the Julia then, but Alpha freely admits the petrol model will be chosen mostly by private buyers, and not motorway bashing company car drivers. And for these customers, the saloon will impress enough. It uses the new Giorgio platform that also underpins the Stelvio SUV and is very light, indeed, only the BMW can trump the newcomer's 1,429 kg curb weight. Alpha has even fitted a carbon fiber prop shaft to every Giulia from this entry-level petrol right up to the 503 bhp quadrifoglio to keep off the kilos. These efforts pay off a treat when you're behind the wheel, because the Julia does feel very light beneath you. Turn into a corner and the front end dives in, but the steering is crisp and weights up nicely. The sense of the rear wheels powering the car out of the bend is hugely enjoyable. If we're being picky, we'd say the steering can be a little too quick, the Julia's pin-sharp responses sometimes make the car feel a tad nervous and jittery. Still, while it lacks the overall composure of the XE, it does feel on a level with the BMW and that's high praise indeed. The ride is less impressive, however. The Julia has very little body roll, but this is due to Alpha making the suspension stiff and that translates to poor refinement on the UK's notoriously bad roads. One way of curing this is to spend £1,950 on the performance pack, which adds not only a pair of beautiful aluminium steering wheel paddles for the auto gearbox, and a limited slip differential, but also Alpha's active suspension. It doesn't cure the poor ride completely, but it rounds off some of the harder crashes into potholes. Elsewhere, the 8-speed ZF Auto Box, the only transmission offered in the UK, is excellent, and cabin space is great. Rear passengers have far more room in which to stretch out than in an XE, and the boot offers a square load space that's a match for the BMW and Mercedes. Interior fit and finish are decent, too. There are swathes of soft touch plastic across the dashboard and doors, the leather feels great and the Julia is brimming with smart design touches, the steering wheel, 
with its starter button on the left hand spoke, is a work of art. It's just a shame, then, that the infotainment system is quite a way behind BMW's iDrive and even Jag's in control for clarity, resolution, and ease of use, and that most of the desirable kit is reserved for the options list. In all, it made our test car's £41,330 asking price look pretty steep. Key Specs Model, Alfa Romeo Giulia 2.0 Turbo Super Price, £31,180 Engine, 2.0 liter 4 CYL petrol Power slash torque, 197 bhp slash 330 nm Transmission, 8 speed auto, rear wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour, 6.6 seconds Top speed, 146 miles per hour Economy slash CO2 47.9 mpg slash 138g slash km, EST. On sale, now.